Well, the inevitable happened. I got into a discussion with somebody on Jordan Peterson. And um, you would think that on the surface, Mr. Peterson and I would have a lot in common. Um, we're both kind of opposed to political correctness, quote unquote. Um, both opposed to things like ideas of privilege, white privilege, um, ridiculously strident feminism, I guess, um, at least strident feminism of the male scapegoating type, um, and um, a general disdain for the victim mentality. But, and again, you'd think that we would agree on this, but no, I find myself vehemently disagreeing with Peterson. Um, and in a, in a way that actually has to do with Peterson's supposed specialty, which is psychology. Um, Peterson seems to take Nietzsche's analysis of society, or an individualist analysis of society, and turn that analysis into a goal, an ideal, an end game. Uh, he's so obsessed with the idea of battling political correctness, of battling um, what he calls postmodernism, whatever that's supposed to mean in terms of battling postmodernists, whatever that is again. Um, but <clears throat> that he doesn't even realize that he's actually uh, essentially doing everything that you know any individualist would, a real individualist would oppose. He's turning the individual into a unit in order to fight a war against a competing set of ideals. He's turning the individual into a slave, into a lemming, into a, a, a herd, into a, a member of a herd by simply switching the emphasis of philosophers like Nietzsche um, in particular. Now, this always seems to happen with the alt-right, or the far-right, or the racist-right, or whatever you want to call them. They read Nietzsche, and they just absolutely love his ideas. Um, and as opposed to seeing those ideas as a description of what he sees society to actually be, and what he sees human beings to actually be, they say that Nietzsche's ideas are an ideal. This is rubbish. You cannot be a collectivist individualist. You can't say, because my society um, protects individualism better than that society over there, my society is therefore better, because you're saying that you are a unit of that particular society to begin with. This is a psychological point of departure, which psychologist Jordan Peterson seems to fail to notice that he's doing. If you were advocating the individual's right, obligation, necessity, whatever you want to call it, desire, struggle for being an individual. You can't say that the best way to become an individual is to join a herd, which is precisely what Peterson does. In the name of um, autonomy, of personal autonomy, he turns the human into a collective. Look at his ideas on reproductive rights, where he says, um, we should engineer society in a certain way that might violate every individual's uh, desire to live the way he or she sees fit, but it's for the good of society. In other words, um, one man, one woman, a monogamous relationship is best for society, so we should bend ourselves in that general direction. Uh, we should try and become this sort of thing. Now, I couldn't disagree more, because that goes against individuality. Become what you are. Isn't that individuality? Individualism? Um, whatever it is. You don't shape yourself to fit society. You might shape yourself to fit society for in, in, in a matter of, I suppose, expediency. Uh, I have to negotiate with the larger society, or the larger society will kill me, or imprison me, or otherwise violate my individual, uh, individual autarky, or whatever you want to call it, autonomy. Um, that's all. That's the only thing that I need to do with society, is to come to terms with it. 
Whereas Peterson says, society is good, it's our society is better than other societies, and here are the reasons why. And this is why we must actually cleave to these ideals that, that uh, Western civilization is supposedly based upon, because these ideals are what make it so great for us here to be individuals. Now this is nuts, but I can see how easy it is to fall into that trap, because people don't want to really face what it, being an individual really is. Being an individual means getting rid of all of your ideals, all of your shoulds, all of your do's and don'ts, all of them. Never mind the way things should be. Um, never mind um, all that other stuff. Never mind what you should be or what you should do. What are you? What is society? What is reality? Stare that square in the face. If you, if, you know, if you think that you're an individualist, if you think you're a Nietzschean or whatever, I, I don't think Jordan Peterson thinks he's a Nietzschean, but I think that he was heavily influenced by him. Um, <clears throat> and again, heavily influenced is not the same thing as actually grasping what the person is actually saying. Um, from start to finish, you've got to see Nietzsche as individualistic in the most basic sense imaginable. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you end up with something resembling, I don't know, a continuum on which stand people like, yes, Adolf Hitler and Jordan Peterson. Because these people take ideas that are absolutely revolutionary and say, well, I'll take out the the really shocking implications of it and just graft the other bit, the analysis, onto contemporary society for the purpose of strengthening Western society against its challengers. In other words, he's turning Western civilization into a herd that has collective interests that will sanction the individual, that will control the individual to make the individual shape to fit. Um, I can't imagine anything more antithetical to individualism and to Nietzscheanism than this. Uh, it's the same thing as so many alt-right types have done with Nietzsche for so long. Uh, they've taken things like the will to power, like um, um, the Ubermensch, um, like, things like this, individualism, and they've taken the ideas and grafted it onto ideals that Nietzsche simply didn't have. Um, people keep doing this. It, it's a recurring theme, I find, with, with people who read Nietzsche. Um, as I say, I think it boils down to the fact that what Nietzsche is saying in his philosophy is so shocking to most people. Um, about, you know, ideas like becoming, like, like his reading of Heraclitus, like his reading of Pantahri, uh, of necessity, of things like that. It, it's all to be looked at from a first-person perspective, not a societal perspective, which is what Peterson is doing. Um, I can't see how anyone with any sort of philosophical pretensions can succumb to this guy. And I, I, I'm not saying anyone actually has. Um, but I do think that there's a critical mass of people out there who actually swallow this, and for the wrong reasons. Um, who swallow Nietzsche's analysis for the wrong reason. They swallow, like the same way that they swallow Darwin's analysis, for the wrong reason. They said, well, the species uh, that is the strongest uh, survives and dominates the others. No, that's not what, what Darwin said. The species that dominates others that is strong ends up surviving. It's not that survival is an end in itself. Survival is a result of something, not an ideal. I would, I would suggest that in as much as Nietzsche was saying anything political... Um, he says that if we actually let the individual excel, we will have a better society. He's not saying that we must let the individual excel in order to have a better society. And even, even so, Nietzsche isn't even particularly interested in whether or not society is good. 
it, it, it's just what are we and what what is the best way for us to express ourselves as individuals or perhaps what am I is the better thing your every individual is asked to ask themselves or at least challenged by implication to ask themselves what am I what is my place in the universe what is the universe type thing um, guys like Peterson simply don't seem to have the capacity to look at it that way in in that stark a way and as a result of that a, a lot of nasty perversions take place as I say the the alt-right and the far right and the racist right all like to co-op Nietzsche because they seem to think that he's a guy who you know, hates liberalism and um, is all for the individual etc but so then they say okay well then since he supports all of this stuff then the best thing we can do is promote his ideas of um, what the individual is, the better to strengthen our society against its enemies, yada, yada, yada. You get it. I'm kind of going around in circles here. Um, but again, don't mix up um, where things stand on the causal chain. And I think that, again, is what Peterson does. He says, um, rather than saying that the strong will create all that is valid or valuable in our society he says people should become strong in order to create all that is valuable in our society i cannot possibly disagree more the individual has one goal to become what he or she is that's it anything else is completely incidental um it's to break free, to become the overman, the ubermensch, to step out of society, to look reality square in the face, to delve into the most basic metaphysical um, assumptions of society, of our, or I shouldn't say society, of reality. And um, the, uh, again, the choking point comes where people can't bring themselves to do this. Do you understand what Nietzsche has to, what reading what he has to say has to do with things like nationalism? You know, um, a nation is a herd, according to Nietzsche. What they have to do with, say, modern liberalism in terms of its groupthink type strain, not, not left wing individualism like mine, but, um, you know, right where I would call it collectivist individual, collectivist leftivist, le leftism, I guess. Uh, political correctness, uh, victim mentality, scapegoating, all this kind of thing that I so loathe. Um, that's not, that. I guess you could call that leftism, but it's more of a collective le leftism as opposed to an individualist leftism. I've, all, I've said in the past that my kind of ideal, if you could call it that, society is something along the lines of anarcho-syndicalism or some sort of anarchistic communism or something like that. But it's, that, that's hardly something that I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to bring about. It just seems to be the one that would probably suit me individually the best in the way that I choose to live. Uh, a lot of leftist people take leveling of society as an end in itself, making everybody equal as an end in itself, or defending uh, the rights of this group to opt out of society as a group. Rubbish. I'm totally opposed to that stuff on the left. Okay, so does that make me opposed to leftism? No, it's just that is a strain that I completely disagree with. It's like the old anarchist-communist split. They're quite irreconcilable, anarchism and communism. But on a certain in a certain analysis, they're fairly similar, right? It's the same thing with me and Jordan Peterson. We might look similar. I sort of speak out against idiotic terms like white privilege. So does he. That puts me in the same camp as him? Absolutely not. Uh, absolutely, adamantly, um, no, I'm not on his side, if you can, you know, because he does have a side. <laughs> he, he, he does have a herd of followers. Uh, I don't, or if I do, there's not many of them. And uh, again, in uh, Thunderfoot's words, it's like herding cats um, when you're dealing with real individuals. Very difficult people to deal with. I'm almost impossible to deal with. Um, 
So getting along with the rest of society is not anything I'm particularly interested in. Strengthening my society against its enemies is certainly not something I'm interested in. Waving a flag is nothing that I'm interested in. I'm not interested in apologizing for Western civilization. I'm not interested in promoting the ideals of Western civilization. I'm not interested in, um, you know, defending Western civilization against its challengers. Um, the, in, in a sense, it's got nothing to do with me because the whole point of being an individual is to step outside of all of that. You don't escape all groups by joining a friggin' group. It, it, it's so obvious that, you know, it, you'd think that somebody who, who, was, who was big on psychology would know this, would be able to see this. And perhaps he does. This is why I, I'm sort of, in, in a sense, willing to give Peterson the benefit of the doubt in that he's maybe he's just a huckster who's trying to have a lot of followers and get rich, which he's actually done. Um, if that's the case, all right, go right ahead and, and have your little cult following. Uh, it's kind of like the, you know, Stefan Molyneux type thing. You know, okay, I, I understand that you've taken all these ideas, but the real end game here is to, is to create your little cult here. Um, it has nothing to do with actual individualism. In fact, it's collectivism. Ayn Rand kind of works that way. In the name of validating the individual, she utterly destroys the individual. Um, and I find that Peterson does pretty much the same thing because Peterson is very rarely what he's for that's being discussed. It's what he's against. And he's, he's created this us against them kind of dynamic. You know, the, the, the decent people against the liberal left or the politically correct or the uh, people like that, the, 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 you know, he, doesn't seem to actually say, come out and say cultural Marxist, but he does believe that there is a conspiracy out there, or he seems to believe that there is a conspiracy out there to wreck society as an end in itself in order to bring about, I don't know, communism or something like that. In other words, the left really wants to bring about its own vision for the purposes of sheer malevolence. It just wants to wreck everything because their leftists are bad people. Um... Uh, okay, well, you can think whatever you want on that score, but nobody tells me what I am. I am what I am. I'm not. A, I'm not what Jordan Peterson says that I am. Um, he, he can say all these things. He can attribute, attribute all these things to me, but that doesn't make them true. Um, as I say, I've spoken against a lot of the things that he has spoken against, but not for the same reasons. I am opposed to all that stuff for completely different reasons that he is. I'm opposed to political correctness. I'm opposed to scapegoating. I'm opposed to the victim mentality. I am opposed to uh, any kind of deliberate leveling as an end in itself. I am not opposed to them because they weaken the fabric of the society that I live in that is fundamentally better than other societies. Absolutely not. Um, I don't believe that we're evolving towards anything. I don't believe that, that Western civilization is inherently superior to any other civilization. I will probably stand up for its principles, I guess, if it came down to it, but not because I believed in them. It's simply because I believe that the alternative uh, to them is nastier than actually believing that they're good. They are not. They're simply what I'm used to. That's all. That's all that I can say in favor of Western civilization is that it's what I'm used to. Uh, I do not think Western civilization is inherently superior any more than I think that a human being is inherently superior to a lemming or an ant or whatever. It's just, we just are what we are. It, it, there's no value on that at all. Um, again, um, just because Jordan Peterson and I, or Jordan Peterson and Nietzsche, oppose the same things, it does not in any way follow that we are in any, in, in, in any sort of fundamental agreement. We're not. Jordan Peterson, well, you're a phony. You're a huckster. I don't believe anything that you say because I don't believe your motives. You're a psychologist who is bending psychology towards some sort of alt-right ideology or whatever. Um, I remember Radovan Karadzic in uh, the Bosnian Civil War was a psychiatrist. 
uh, and that'll make you think, right? Just because, you know, somebody's got a, a, a doctorate or something like that, it doesn't automatically make them a, a sane or even smart person. Um, they can make all kinds of mistakes and it, and, and it always, it always comes down to, as I say, something along the lines of choking or cowardice or failure to actually plumb the true implications of what individualism and wanting to honestly be starkly individual in your life really means. Being an individual is not for the faint of heart. If you want to belong to something, if you want to belong to a society, if you want to belong to a group that believes itself better than the others, back into the cave with you. Back into the Matrix. I think the Matrix is where Peterson ultimately belongs.